the, the, so the most recent purchase was 90 and 56. So you're going to assume that is, see, look, you are, so on the day you made the sale, okay, on this is the day you made the sale, right? What was the most recent purchase prior to that? It was on the 4th. It was on the 5th. 56 dollars, So 50, this was the most recent purchase. So you're going to assume that the entire 60 came out of this lot of 90 units, because it's LIPO. Mm -hmm. So therefore, when you compute the cost of the 60 unit, we are going to assume 56 dollars. Mm -hmm. uh, because that was the most recent purchase, mm -hmm. so LIPO means you've got to go backwards for the cost. All right. So we say, okay, 60 at 56. So, so this 60 will be at 56 dollars. Professor, yeah. I always think that I understand you, and then I take your test, and I realize I don't. Uh, you don't have a test yet. So, no, you know. Can you tell us the beginning? What's within that a professional inventory system is used versus the cost of the The first thing is, no, this is the beginning. Uh, so we are we are on the 14th, and we are selling 60 units on the 14th. The LIPO system says that you have to assume that this 60 came out of the most recent purchase. Correct. And the most recent purchase has to be the 90 units because the 15 units in beginning inventory was prior to that. So we first say that you pull the 60 out of the 90 that was most recently purchased. And why isn't it the purchases of the 21st don't count because they're the last ones purchased? Which 21st? July 21st. Because July 21st is still not there yet. We are now on July 5. We're in sale, we're in the first sale. On July 5, we don't have July 21st yet. Okay. So therefore, we have 60 units at 56, so that is 6, 30, how much is it? 30, yeah, 30 plus 3, so 3,360, yeah, 3,360 dollars. Then, we had another sale, okay, that was on the 30th. So the sale on 30th was how much? Say it again. 58 from the 42. No, no, wait, wait, wait. Oh, you have you unit 42. Hang on, hang on. Everybody just hang on. What did you say first? Mm -hmm. I need to take that. Um, 58. I'm sorry? 58. Why are you saying 58? Dollars. Yeah. Dollars. Perfect. Very good. So now you will take the 42 at 58. Why? Because the previous lot purchase was 45. And you can pull the entire 42 out of that 45. Like what? So the most recent purchase was just before that at, at $58. So 42 times 58. Somebody? 42,000. Perfect. So now that, that's your cost of goods sold. 96, 7, 5. Professor. So the answer is 5,796. So Let's say instead of selling 42 units, you sold 46. 46. Perfect. So what would you do? You would take the 45 at 58. And one unit at 56? At 56. Okay. I see. Very good. So you don't have to make the whole, you don't have to make the whole graph? Bravo. Sure, but that's, that's a simple problem. Okay. So, for the, so for the price, you would do the same assumptions with the, with the sale and the purchases? You would try to get the, I mean, for the, for the FICO. For the FICO, you go top, top down. So when you make the sale of 60 units, you got to so, start with so the 15. So you would use the, okay. You First you will go the 15, and then you will take the remaining 45 from the 90. You go top down for the sale. Every time you make a sale, you go top down. Okay? This this problem is clear to everybody? Yes, sir. One more. Uh, it's so much easier. <laughs> yeah, it's in the other way. Well, that's because we only ask one part of the whole. I saw that one. I can do the whole. I got to do the parts in the whole. Okay, Uber company had beginning inventory of 15,000. During the month, the company made purchases of 55. Inventory at the end of the month was 73. What is cost of goods sold? Straightforward application of the formula. There you go. Just straight out application. So you just simply take 15 is the beginning inventory. Plus purchases. Plus, the purchases were 55. Minus, and then inventory. Minus the ending inventory was 17,300. So, how much is that? 
Which of the following statements is correct with respect to inventories? The FIFO method assumes that the cost of the earliest goods acquired are the last to be sold. First in, first out. Yeah. So is that right? No. 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 That's opposite of FIFO. This FIFO is opposite of this method. So A is wrong. That's LIFO. So P, exactly. That's like Statement A is LIFO. Right. B, it's generally good business management to sell the most recently acquired goods first. No. no this is nothing, this is all accounting stuff. There's nothing to do with management. Okay? C, under FIFO, the ending inventory is based on the latest units purchased. Yeah? You got it. You got it. See, it's a good idea to postpone the break. Now, it's really sunk in. It is C. C is the classic example. It's the classic definition of FIFO. The ending inventory, what you still have left, must be the most recently purchased yes. because the earlier ones got sold. First in, first out. So therefore, C is correct. Correct. And the last one, D says, FIFO seldom coincides with the actual physical flow. Actually, it's opposite. For, that's the reason why IFRS does not permit LIFO because FIFO is the one that typically coincides with the way the goods are sold. The earlier acquired goods get sold first. So therefore, D is also wrong, uh, wrong, so C is correct. Okay, now we can take a break. Perfect.